there it is. Okay, good morning. I hope everybody is well. We are continuing with our Lenten season, and we're going to be doing lots of stories. This one is about the Last Supper because it's going to play into the craft that you will be doing later on. <clears throat> Jesus and his disciples were reclining at their Passover meal. Jesus blessed the bread and broke it, saying to them, Take this and eat it, for it is my body. Then he blessed the wine and passed around the cup. Drink this, for this is my blood. Then Jesus looked at each man in turn, his face full of sorrow. One of you sitting here will betray me. The disciples were horrified and looked at each other in dismay. Is it you? Is it you, they asked each other? Is it him? Is it me? Peter whispered to the disciple who was sitting next to Jesus, ask the master which one he means. This disciple, whom Jesus loved dearly, leaned toward him and asked, Lord, which one of us is it? The one to whom I shall give this bread, Jesus replied. Then he took a piece from the loaf, dipped it in the dish in front of him, and handed it to Judas Iscariot. Do whatever you have to do, said Jesus, but do it quickly. With a start, Judas got up from the table, left the room, and walked out into the night. Um, this was a story that we read last week about Judas. Judas and the pieces of silver that he got from betraying Jesus. Our second story is going to go on about what happened after the Last Supper. This is about the Garden of Gethsemane and what happens there. So Jesus and his disciples walked to the garden called Gethsemane, a quiet place they knew and loved on the Mount of Olives. Stay here for a little while, said Jesus, while I go and pray. And he took Peter, he took with him Peter, James, and John. My heart is full of sadness, he told them. Keep watch over me while I pray. Jesus moved a little further off, where he laid down in prayer, his face to the ground in an agony of grief. Father, please take this cup of suffering from me, but I will always obey you. Let your will, not mine, be done. He turned to the three men, only to find them fast asleep. Could you not stay awake for just one hour, he said? Please keep watch while I pray. Again, he went away to pray, and again the disciples fell asleep, for their eyes were so heavy. A third time this happened, then Jesus said, No matter, the hour has come. The traitor is here. As he spoke, Judas arrived followed by a large number of men sent by the high priest, all armed with swords and clubs and carrying burning torches. Jesus went, Judas went up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. This was the prearranged signal. Immediately, two men seized Jesus and held him tightly. At once, Peter drew his sword and struck off the ear of one of the guards. But Jesus rebuked him. Put away your sword, he said, if I need protection. It is my Father in heaven who will protect me. He touched the man, and at once his ear was whole. The disciples, terrified at what they saw happening, turned and ran for their lives. Among the crowd was a young man dressed only in a strip of linen. Armed soldiers tried to arrest him, but although they caught hold of his garment, he slipped from them and ran away naked. That's the end of our story for today. I hope you enjoy the craft. Have a good day.